hey guys, I was just, don't mind me, I was just playing a little piano here. Anyway, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have Jonathan on the show today. He's an incredible writer, director, producer, very funny guy. Uh, he did one of my favorite comedies called Jimmy Westwood with my friend Moz Gibrani. And he has a new show called Gander on Tubby TV. So let's go and talk to him and let's go and check it out. How are you? Good. So wh where, whereabouts are you right now? You're in LA, I take it, but where in LA are you? Are you? Right now we're in Burbank, California, the beautiful city of Burbank. I is it on fire? Are you guys okay? Well, you should see my eyes. It's red and it's watery because it's been terrible here. I'm, I'm reading, man. I, I yeah, my, my, my family's there. Like I'm from LA and so I know it, it's been pretty awful. Hey, so you're way out there in, where are you, in Ireland? Dublin right now, yeah. Is it really beautiful? I mean, from what I've seen, the pictures and in the movies. It's beautiful, the people are amazing. Uh, there's no Trump, it's, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> yes, give me another high five. <laughs> well, I'm just happy that you're on the show today. Uh, thank you for accepting my invitation. Listen, I'm, I love the... Maz Gibrani movie that you directed back in 2014, Jimmy Westwood. Oh, there you go, right there behind you. I, I, I was up north, we live in the place up north, and I made that into a studio, and I came down here, and I was like, I need to, sh I should have a, some of my, my, my movies on the wall, so I just printed one out, and so we're moving again, so I'm gonna, yeah. I, I gave, like, I used to have a Hebrew Hammer poster, and I gave, like, my family all have them, but I cannot find a high, like, a high resin of file to print out the Hebrew Hammer poster, like, nobody seems to have it anywhere, which is killing me a little bit, but. That movie is so funny. Tell me a little bit about Hebrew Hammer, which, you know, is probably one of the best, it's in the history of Jewish theater. I think it's one of the top one, it came on the top 100, right? Yeah. With small movies like Schindler's List and Annie Hall. And tell me, how did that movie come about? I mean, it's so freaking funny. I was in film school. Uh, I went to USC uh, for graduate school. And uh, my first semester, I had done a film um, called Subterfuge, which is like, there's a bunch of secret agents who are passing around this package. And it turns out the package is a porn film. But one of the agents is Mordecai Jefferson Carver. It yeah. starts off, uh, it's a black man in, in the airport. This is back before 9-11. We can actually shoot in the, in the airport. Nobody cared. And he goes into a bathroom stall and becomes, you know, the Hebrew hammer. And uh, it, it just that sort of a mixture of black Jews, you know, kind of it kind of connected with people. And then uh, before I actually went to film school, I didn't get in the first time I applied. And so I was annoyed and I wrote this idea these two idiot film students because i was the angry film students i wasn't one who have this war of attrition over a screenplay and the movie the one kid's doing is called maccabee rising it's a jewish exploitation film and like everyone's like jew wait this well, that was a joke so suddenly i was like oh jewish exploitation i should look into and so i just basically got my hands on every black exploitation film i could get and so then my second semester i did the hebrew hammer short and that kind of just blew up at usc it became like one of the like from 1950s to the present, one of the, the, the could like consider the, the best shorts at USC, like the archivist chose it in the screening of movies from 50s to the present. People kept asking for copies of the tape for like their their lawyer, you know, uncles in, in Iowa, their dentist, you know, like all, all their Jew, Jew, all their Jewish friends. So I was thinking, God, you know, this is actually hitting a nerve, so I should probably write this. And so that summer I took off like about four weeks of work because I figured I just, I needed to bang it out because I was, didn't have any money. And I wrote the movie and, um, and then, you know, and then right about that time, uh, ICM, an agency in LA, they got a hold of the, the VHS tape where the Hebrew Hammer short was on. And they're like, this is really funny. You'd written anything. And I'm like, well, I've actually, I'm writing the feature version. And from there, it kind of just became what it became. Yeah. Well, how did you, how did you get like, well, was Adam Goldberg in it? And who, did, who else did you have in it? It was Adam Goldberg, Mario Van Peebles, it was Peter Coyote, uh, Judy Greer, Nora Dunn. Um, How the hell did you get all these guys to be in your movie? I mean, this is, you know, you're pretty much starting out. 
right? It was it was a it was a quote unquote hot. It was a good script. That was really it's one of the, you know it's a yeah. it's a really funny script and you know yeah. and it was going around Hollywood and, and everybody kept saying to me, oh, this is this is the funniest thing, but it's never gonna get made. It's too Jewish. And I kept going like, <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> and uh, that kept happening. And then you know it got into the hands of uh, uh, Mark Platt, who's a uh, uh, used to run Universal and he produced like La La Land or Moonlight, one of those. Um, and you know he wanted to make it a black Jewish you know buddy movie and which was great so I started developing it with him and he made it clear that I couldn't direct it and then Ed Pressman who ended up financing producing it he you know he basically called me in his office and said you know I'll, I, I can give you I can give a million dollars like a, you know a, a million dollars to make this movie and you can direct it and so that was it and so in terms of the actors Adam was on my, my list of top five people I wanted remember sort of asking around you know people I knew in high school and junior and college like who's who's the coolest Jew you can think of and Adam Goldberg was constantly sort of like you know and he uh, was in New York trying to get a movie of his made and he met with content film the people that that financed it and they're like oh no you should read this and his story that we we now like I don't know if it's true or not true but the story it goes that he read it on the subway back and he got to the line where he said Shabbat Shalom motherfuckers and he was like I have to do this movie I can't let anybody say that line let's jump into uh, Jimmy Vestwood which my friend Maz Jobrani is on Look, Maz first is, of all I, I, yeah, Maz is such a good guy I love Maz isn't he great isn't he you know it's funny because I work with a lot of comics and a lot of comedy people and usually they're dark miserable people Maz is like the nicest human being like I thought I was a very I thought I'm really really nice Maz makes me look like an ass <laughs> Maz is a great great human being well you know one thing about him is you know he's somebody who's very humble you know I mean he's um, you know he's achieved so much but he's you know every time I call him you know I don't care how busy he is you know, if he doesn't call me back, he sends me a text. You know, it's like, it's hard to find people like that, especially in LA, you know, especially when they get to a certain level. So I'm really happy to know him, but tell me how you connected with him and how did the movie come about? Did he tap you to direct the film or how did that come well, about? Well, sort of like, so they were looking for a direct, he, he, he spent like eight or nine, 10 years trying to get it made, you know, and trying to get, finally got it financed and they're looking for a director and there is somebody in the Persian community who was a Hebrew Hammer fan. He's a, he's a, he's a music attorney, actually. Uh, I don't know, um, and he basically suggested me. He's like, you should see the movie Hebrew Hammer. And so Maz and Amir and I think Ray, they watched the movie. They're like, this is really funny. You want to meet him? And we met. And, you know, he was meeting other people. And, you know, um, he hired the right guy. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And obviously the film was good. Is there a sequel uh, to that film? or there, there was always talk of the sequel. And, you know, it's just... You know, I've been in it, doing an independent film for now 20 years, and it's so hard to get anything made at any budget level. Even, you know, like that was a low budget movie. I have another movie at that kind of budget level. It's just hard to get anybody write you a check for a couple hundred thousand dollars, believe it or not. It's just, um, so I would love, to, yeah, if, if it were to come about, I would love to do it. It's just really. Uh, I'll, I'll go and watch it. I mean, it, it was fun. It was great. So you, 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 you have two kidneys, right? I do. So, you could sell a kidney for a couple hundred thousand dollars, I think, and then we were, we were halfway, halfway there. there. <laughs> how, how about this, Jonathan? How about if I pitch you my own film with my friend Ken Davidian, who's the co-star of Bullard? Oh, he's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I, he's a great actor. How about, how about if I pitch you that idea and then raise the money? If you can raise the money, I'm in. Uh, you guys heard him. He's, he's in if I can raise the money. If you raise the money, I'm in because I like I love making movies more than anything. I love making stuff. So and as long as they're open to, you know, me looking at that script and sort of maybe t putting my pen through a little bit and get it. But you gotta you gotta help us write it. You gotta write it. We pitch you the story, you gotta write it. I'm in. Raise the money, I'm in, hundred percent. I like I'm not precious. I like making things. I love the whole I love the whole process. I love collaborating with people and I love just I like putting on a show. Speaking of making things, I love your new TV show that you have, Gander. I Gander, was yeah. um, I watched uh, a lot of it, uh, and it's it's funny. Tell me a little bit. I mean, you got some big names. You got Russell Peters. You got Jay Moore, Maz Gibrani, of course, Adam Goldberg. You know, tell me how did that come about? And that's your writing too, right? That's all your writing. No, so it's it's I I write I write on it, but the, like there are the head writer is a guy named Rob Cutner who I brought on. So right, 
so and I'll, I'll tell you that so i was out here in dublin and you know saw an ad for a guy looking for he's trying to do a, like a political comedy show and essentially met this guy here in lucid and he's a tech millionaire really nice guy and he's like really massively into john john oliver and the daily show and he's kind of a do-gooder he wanted to do this he had this idea for the show for like a year like he had all this research he'd paid for was meeting with different sort of comics and writers out here and they just couldn't get it going for a year you need someone to put it together you need me to basically come on and put it together so he basically said you can he's like he's, he's very funny he said i'm like i'm like a russian oligarch you can hi i you know i know nothing about comedy know nothing about film you can hire whoever you want and i'll just i'll, I'll pay for it i'm like great so the first guy I called was rob because rob's an old friend we've done a lot of stuff together and rob was a writer on the daily show john stewart he won like five emmys for that show and like right, that fact-based right. comedy is, is that's, his, that's his wheelhouse that's what he does so some of the people were people that i knew or rob knew and other people were just you know us reaching out and sort of saying hey we were doing this thing and it's fun and it's very funny and congratulations i think it's doing really well on tubby tv so thank you very much i appreciate it exactly well jonathan i i want to thank you so much uh, definitely i'm gonna set up a private thing uh, with you later and we'll talk about some other projects but it was so nice that you were able to come on the show and really to to meet you i want to thank you so much for no thank you for having me and uh, i was checking out your your music it's great and so thank you you know wanted to, yeah uh, thank you very much and and by the way um whoever comes on the show your next projects whatever you do music will have to come from me so i will be uh, doing... obviously yeah i mean it can't... that's something that i tell all my guests from now on well, of course yeah. and i was thinking my, my next project won't be i won't be a film piece of entertainment it'll just be music and you'll just give me your music and i'll take credit for it and i'll put it out so thank you for that that's <laughs> incredible <laughs> Th thank you for that jonathan i appreciate it well, well you're welcome well, <laughs> you're a funny guy i like you man you're cool thank you right, i like well, you too you guys thank you for watching the show and if you enjoyed it please hit that notification bell consider subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next show